Hi guys, so Rocket Science Animation just did this viral video for the launch of Vivo V30 and since then we have been getting a lot of DMs and queries on how we did this. So here is the behind the scene of how we did this fake out of home video. Check it out. So the first thing we do when we get a project is we uh, start making a rough storyboard and we just use it for planning the movement of objects. You know, at what point do objects come in and out? What direction are they moving in? What is the rough framing? Basically, we use these drawings to, you know, convey the whole film to the client so that they can visualize and uh, it's a start point and then, you know, they can give us feedback. So this is like the most important part, I would say, of the process. When we go to the mall for the shoot, like what are the things that we need to do so that we get this right? The place where we should keep the product. Right. It needs to be free of people passing by. Uh, do we need to paste some, uh, you know, markers in the mall? If we do a basic shoot, we will increase the saturation. We will increase the track point. Reveal ho so what I am doing here is uh, motion tracking. So basically it's a process of replicating your real world camera properties like uh, focal length, position to this uh, virtual world and put some tracking markers in the software, uh, software sort itself and give us a very rough data. Then we have to clean it up. After the cleanup and camera solve, we pass it for the animation. So after the 3D motion tracking, we get the camera data into a 3D software for animation. The first thing we then do is make a flow where our product is going to sit according to the pace of a live footage. We then bring in our CG elements which is our 3D box modeled by our in-house veteran modeler and the 3D foam and then place them exactly where we want it in the live footage. Next just animate the box pop open and the phone swirling out of it. Now since the camera is already properly tracked, we don't have to worry about the perspective not matching or the product sliding around etc etc. It's going to match to the team. Lastly, we simulate the cloth swirl and add it to the scene. And there you have the animation. Let's pass it on for lighting and rendering. I started by adding some shaders and textures to the 3D model. Then for the lighting, I added a simple 3D light ray which includes key fill and dim lights. And then I added an HDRI for ambient lighting and reflection. Then after I rendered it on the render farm, I passed it on to the composting artist. So when I get the 3D renders from the rendering artist, I use After Effects to blend the 3D render with the live footage. These include adding color corrections, lens effects, tend to uh, tweak the shadows, the reflections, and also some minor details to enhance realism. We really enjoyed making this video and uh, we hope that you all also enjoy watching it as much. Please follow us for more such content. Uh, thank you so much.